Hey guys, so this is going to be my final vlog, hopefully, if everything comes together in time for the final review. Um, I'm doing some stuff now. You can see I've got all of the Anwall uh, peel and stick wallpaper up. And it looks really cool. I like what that adds. And then I just put up these rainbow tassels. I think the combination of the tassels with that wallpaper is just really fun. And he's a five-year-old kid, so things should be fun, right? Um, let's see. He still has all of the pillows and throw blankets from the living room, but ignoring that. Um, this is the wall hanging that six number one word one underscore on Instagram she makes these really cool weavings and I'm either thinking that this is gonna hang on the closet door or here above where the dresser is gonna be um, I don't know if I showed this I this was the first thing that I got up after the floors were done the uh, the llamas I found that at five below so it's five dollars for the three they're colorful. They also had succulent ones, if that's more your vibe. Um, bedding arrived, um, but it's all crumpled on the floor. And he is in love with this Smith Honig. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Hello, but it's velvet with the colorful border and then the tassels. He slept with it last night, uh, so he's in love with that. Very happy. He's really enjoying the things that have been going into the place. He's been getting really excited. Uh, see if I can get myself brightened back up. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and pull this up. This lamp from Lamps Plus. The uh, here, let me show you. Okay, so this whole thing tilts up. And let me tell you, that's like the greatest thing since sliced bread for a five-year-old. <laughs> so that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to take a break, but um, the next clip is what I've worked on next. Hey guys, I have my X-Acto knife here. And I am cutting all of the excess um, from the peel and stick wallpaper. Um, my walls are super wonky, super bumpy, even like along the baseboards um, from having like 60 some odd years of paint built up over it. It's not smooth. So I tried doing it with a straight edge ruler. It's just not working. Um, I'm having to freehand all of it and just go slow and careful so as not to get off track and cut the wallpaper. But you can kind of see it now. It's like very soft hued banana leaf. And here is the monstera leaf. So I've got to do along the ceiling. And I'm done with the baseboard and I just have to do the upper part of the uh, wall that meets the ceiling. And I'm going to climb up on the bunk bed to do that. <laughs> While I'm up here, I thought I'd go ahead and show you real quick. This is where the two panels meet. And you can kind of see where the design didn't all the way line up. And I'm telling you, I tried like hell. I took down panels two, three, and four. No. Three, four, and five. No. Sorry. Two, four, and five. Those panels I took down and put back up multiple times trying to get everything lined up perfectly. The bottom part of this panel looks perfect. You can even see right here. This looks great. And then it's like for some reason right here, I got off kilter somehow and that's okay. So like I said, I'm just free handing, cutting off the excess.
reveal day or what's supposed to be reveal day. Um, I am still waiting on my room, so I'm kind of purposefully holding off on doing a lot to the space because I really want to be able to reveal the whole space to my son and I can't keep the room closed off for that long, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of just hanging tight on some of the stuff and we've got a couple of things done. So let me go ahead and show you what is done. Oh my gosh, you guys, delivery just came. The rug is here and the whole room was designed around this rug. So I am so excited to put it down. Ah, here it is. Oh, let me see if I can get that in the video shot so you guys can kind of get the whole spoil. Alright, that is going to be the end of update for this week. Make sure you come back next week to see how it all comes together.